An extended drought made the insect-infested trees of Payette National Forest perfect kindling. For four months, firefighters throw everything they have at the mammoth blaze. By the time the snows of winter finally put out the fire, more than 300,000 acres, an area almost half the size of Rhode Island, have burned. In the smoldering ash, Forest Service officials pondered ways to make good of a bad situation. So after the fires, we knew there was now probably an even greater opportunity to come in and still protect the resource values, but remove some products that could be utilized, uh, whether it be in homes or for lumber or other purposes. They began taking bids from log home builders to harvest the dead standing timber. It is the Forest Service's version of recycling. These logs are being salvaged by a Montana log home company. This tree has only very few steps from this point on before it will be a finished log in someone's home, the living room or bedroom. Under Forest Service supervision, the dead trees are cut to the ground. This is, looks like a good tree. Today, logger Randy Spicklemeyer will cut down some 180 dead trees. Most are Engelmann spruce and lodgepole pine. Trees left uncut become habitat for birds and small mammals. This make good house log tree. Get a couple good house logs out of it. Dead trees are the perfect building blocks for log homes. The logs already have been dried in nature's unique way. The fast moving fire quickly killed the trees without altering the structural integrity of the log. You can see that it's just the very surface of the bark that got fried. And that intense heat momentarily was what killed the tree. The wood yeah, underneath is quite bright. A skidder hauls the felled trees to a processing area. Here, an awesome contraption called a delimmer strips the trees of its branches. Like a giant switchblade, a chainsaw emerges from the delimmer's arm, cutting the logs to a length so they can be loaded onto trucks. It's a process that Pat Connell calls sensitive logging. As part of its contract with the Forest Service, his log home company must return the site to its natural state. That includes reseeding areas damaged by heavy equipment. It's not a benefit for me as a forester, for anyone in the United States, to see a big, huge forest fire like this. When fires like this occur, it gives us another opportunity to be able to utilize uh, wood for house logs that, uh, frankly, as a forester in my entire company, would prefer to see these trees have been left green and growing uh, in the woods because that's all the reason we came here to live in the first place, to enjoy uh, the beauty and the serenity of this country. Rocky Mountain Log Homes will pay Payette National Forest nearly half a million dollars to remove this timber. For the Forest Service, the reward is more than financial. If these burnt trees are left to stand, they will someday become fuel for another forest fire. Once they fall to the ground and start to break down, of course you have a very large loading then of dead material on the ground. And if we were to get another ignition in here from lightning or even a man-caused source, then we could have a, a reburn. And that could occur in a 15, 20, 25 year cycle after these initial fires. Harvesting dead standing timber is a win-win situation. The Forest Service gets a fire hazard removed. Log home companies get ideal building materials. 
and future owners of log homes know that their dream house is giving new life to trees from one of the most beautiful places in the American West. We're taking a little bit of this forest and this woods and the wildness and, and every, every fantasy that a Westerner or anyone in North America has ever had out with these logs on this truck and in the process and going into their home. 